Hi, uh, this is a very interesting set from CAT 2005. Uh, this is a set based question. Uh, in this question, uh, there is an NGO called Help Distress HD uh, is providing assistance to uh, people suffering in various natural disasters like uh, tsunamis like that. Uh, it is given that uh, there are total 37 volunteers who involved in uh, three different projects. Tsunami relief which is denoted as TR and flood relief which is FR and earthquake relief. So there are total 37 volunteers. So based on the clues given we need to find the set. So let us first uh, draw the set. So one, two, three. So this is uh, tsunami relief and the second is uh, flood relief and third is uh, earthquake relief. So there are three different projects. So let us look at the clue number one. Maximum number of volunteers are involved in FR project. So FR project has got the maximum number of people and uh, among them the number of volunteers involved in FR project alone is equal to the number of volunteers having additional involvement in year project. That means this value, this region value is equal to the sum of these two values. So let us keep it aside. Look at the next clue. The number of volunteers involved in year project alone is double the number of volunteers involved in all the three projects. So let us say the number of people who involved in all the three projects is equal to x then er should be 2x because this region should be double to this number. Let us look at the next clue and 17 volunteers are involved in tr project. So the total number of people are 17 who are involved in tr project that means the total the circle this circle represents 17 but we know that there are total 37 volunteers that means sum of these three numbers should be equal to 20 so just keep it in your mind uh, next uh, the number of volunteers involved in tr project alone is one less than the number of volunteers involved in er project alone that means this number should be one less than this number therefore this should be 2x minus 1 and the last clue 10 volunteers involved in TR project are also involved in at least one more project. That means the people who are involved in TR along with the other projects, right? So that means the regions, these three regions together should equal to 10. If these three regions equal to 10, the total value equal to 17. That means this value equal to 7, correct? 7 plus 10 equal to 17. Therefore, we have 2x minus 1 equal to uh, 7 and x equal to 8 by 2 which is equal to 4. So let us replace uh, these variables with this number. So x must be 4, 2x minus 1 equal to 7, 4 into 2 minus 1 and 2x equal to 8. We also know that uh, this total region value equal to 17. That means uh, these three together should equal to 20. And another, another clue which is uh, uh, the first clue, right? The first clue is saying that uh, the number of volunteers involved in FR project alone is equal to the number of volunteers involving additional involvement in ER project. Now, sum of these three values equal to 20. That means sum of these two values equal to 12 because this is already 8. So, let us represent this value as Y and let us represent this value as Z. So, we have uh, Y plus Z equal to 12 because sum of these three values equal to 20 and also we have y should be equal to sum of these two numbers that means y equal to 4 plus z so it is given that right in the first clue the number of people involving in fr project alone is equal to the number of volunteers involving additional involvement in er project so 4 plus z is equal to the number of people involving in er project therefore y equal to 4 plus z so let us substitute 4 plus z here so 4 plus z plus z equal to 12 Therefore, 2z equal to 8, so z equal to 4. Sorry, this is z, right. So, z equal to 4. So, if z is equal to 4, y equal to 8. So, we have 8 here. Now, we left with only two regions. So, let us say this is a and this is b. Now, we know that the total region value is equal to 17. So, 7 plus 4 equal to 11. So, 11 plus 6 equal to 17. So, in that case, a plus b must be equal to 6. So therefore we have, so a plus b equal to 6. Now it is given that maximum number of volunteers are involved in FR project, right? So maximum number of people involved in FR project. In that case, some of these values should be the highest. So 
Uh, let us erase uh, some of these parts so that we can do the calculation. So now uh, the number of people involved in FR project that means 8 plus 4 12, 12 plus 4 16. So 16 plus A should be greater than and if you look at uh, this region 8 plus 4 12, 12 plus 4 16 again 16. So 16 plus B right. So definitely A must be greater than B, strictly greater than B. But we know that A plus B equal to 6. So therefore A must be greater than B means A value must start with 4, B equal to 2 and this is 5, this is 1 and this is 6, this is 0. So the minimum value for A equal to 4 and greater than that. Uh, and if you look at FR value is greater than TR, right? TR is anyway 17. So that is fixed because A plus B is always 6. So this value should be seven, uh, greater than 17. So for what value of A this is greater than 17 that we need to check. Suppose if A minimum value is 4, 4 plus 4 plus 4 is 12, 12 plus 8 equal 20. Definitely FR is greater than TR always. So this is the calculation. So let us look at the questions one by one. Based on the information given, the minimum number of volunteers involved in both FR and TR. So FR and TR, how many minimum number of people? Uh, but not in ER. So that means we are asked to find only the value of A. So A minimum value equal to 4. Therefore, we will go for answer option 3. Next question. Which of the following additional information would enable, uh, enable us to find the exact number of volunteers involved in various projects? So we are left with only two variables A and B. Whether we get A value or B value, we can easily find out uh, the number of exact number of volunteers involved in all the projects. So let us look at the first clue. Uh, 20 volunteers are involved in FR. So if this total value equal to 20, we know that A equal to 4, correct? So 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 8, which is equal to 20. So if A equal to 4, immediately we know that B equal to 2 based on this equation. Therefore, if the first uh, clue is enough to find the exact values of uh, all these numbers. Uh, therefore, we'll go for answer option 1. Next question. After some time, the volunteers who were involved in all the three projects were asked to withdraw from one project. As a result, one of the volunteers opted out of the TR project. Let us look at this diagram. If a person who opted out of this TR project, he is no longer involved in TR project, right? So he is involving in other two projects. That means instead of 4, we reduce 1 and this value will become 5. This value will become 3. Now, uh, also given that one opt opted out of ER project. If someone opted out of ER project, so A will become A plus 1, this will become 2. And the remaining ones involved in all the three projects opted out of the FR project. If two people opted out of the FR project, this will become simply 0 and this will become B plus 2. Right. Now, if you look at this diagram, what could be the total number now here? So, A plus B is anyway 6. So, 6 plus 2, 8, 8 plus 1, 9, 9 plus 7, 16. Now, the total number of people became 16. Why 16? Because one person went out of this region, right? That's why we got one less. The remaining people are still in this region, in this circle only. So, one person came here, two persons came here. So, one person left this region. That's why we got one less. Now, the question is, uh, which of the following statements then necessarily follows, right? Uh, the lowest number of volunteers is now in TR project. So the total number of people in the TR project equal to 16, correct? That is true. Uh, now, this is how much? 13. 13 plus 2, 15. If B is equal to 0, still this is lesser than, right? So lesser than TR. So definitely that in that reason, we cannot say the lowest number of volunteers are in TR project. Next, more volunteers are now in FR project compared to ER project. Okay, let us check. FR is anyway maximum that is already given in the question, but according to these conditions, let us check that one. Uh, so, 8 plus 5, 13. 13 plus uh, 1, 14. So, 14 plus A. Now, what about this one? 13 plus 2, uh, 15. Right? So, 13 plus 2, 15. 15 plus B. Now, what could be the value of uh, 
uh, a here the value of uh, a here is uh, minimum of 4 correct so b value equal to 2 so if a equal to 4 this will become 18 and if b equal to 2 this will become how much 17 so definitely the number of volunteers in fr project is greater than this number and we know that the number of uh, people in this region equal to 16 therefore option 2 is the correct one so more volunteers are now in fr project when compared to er as well as tr project therefore we'll go for answer option 2 last question uh, this is a very lengthy question so after these withdrawals what happened some new volunteer joined the ngo each one of them was allotted only one project and the number of volunteers working in one project alone for each of the three projects became identical that means these numbers became identical so at that point it was also found that the number of volunteers involved in fr and er projects was the same so fr and er fr and er projects was same as uh, the number of volunteers involved in tr and er tr and er so these two values became same which which of the projects now has the highest number of volunteers so first target is to equate the number of people who are working alone in these projects right so this is 8 and this is 8 let us say only one person joined here so this value becomes 8 next b plus 2 and 5 both must be equal according to the question right the number of people involved in fr and er must be equal to the number of people involving tr and er therefore b plus 2 equal to 5 therefore b equal to 3 if b equal to 3 a equal to 3 because a plus b equal to 6 now we are asked to find which projects has now the highest number of volunteers so if a equal to 3 and b equal to 3 let us check what happens so 8 plus 3 11 11 plus 5 16 right so f4 has got 16 now uh, in this case 8 plus 5 13 13 plus 5 18 oh great so er has got 18 now and what about tr so 8 plus 3 11 11 plus 5 16 anyway tr is equal to 16 right and one person joined right so 3 plus 1 4 8 plus 4 12 12 plus 5 17 again it came back to 17 so tr equal to 17 again so now after one person joined tr and according to these calculations now er has got the highest number of people 18 therefore the answer for this question is option 1 er